Dave, 19 shots, one shy of a tournament record. And away we go, the America East Conference Championship game. We will crown a winner in a couple of hours. The first matchup of the season between these two teams, so they need to buckle down and prove that they can stop Bryant right there, unable to do so. And it's Connor McMahon who puts one past Heller to get things started. And McMahon, a transfer from Mount St. Mary's with a nice individual effort matched up against the short stick, drives to his left hand. And I love the quick release. This is a team that knows how to play at the big moments. New head coach, new conference, and yet same result perhaps today. Two nothing lead for the Bulldogs. It's a close range strike for Jack Lonsinger, a 40 goal scorer himself. It's two zip. Lonsinger, one thing he knows to do well is put the ball in the back of the cage. His 41st of the season, 41 goals, two assists, and deep. We can beat you from a lot of different levels. Off the face off win, a save between the pipes, and Bryant collects it. And there's the senior's first save. Goal line extended, close range look. Heller denies Hackett that time. And so Heller. a pair of stops. A hero for the Great Danes. On award winner Kevin Fitzgerald with you. We crown an America East Conference champion this afternoon in Burlington. Here's Groninger. Puts one away. It's 3-0. And three different goal scorers, Matt, to your point in the early minutes for Bryant. We mentioned Groninger earlier in the game as probably their most rounded player. Right here, you get to see, look at the strength. Lowers his shoulder, inside roll, takes that extra step, right? And so under first-year head coach Brad Ross and this great staff, boy, they have not really skipped a beat. That bouncer goes wide. All but he looking for its first strike. Thomas Decker up top, and there's a score. It's Silas Richmond. After five on Thursday, he's got his first in the championship game. And we highlighted Silas Richmond in the open, showing just how smart he is and how much he understands the game of lacrosse and spacing. And right here, does a nice job stepping away to space in this game. They need possession. And right now, Albany's just taking to him at the faceoff dot. Yeah, Bryant dominated that category back on April 8th. And they're dominating in the first quarter. It's a 4-1 lead after the latest strike. 6-5 win for, for Great Danes. Like, this is going to be a game they have to outscore <laughs> Bryant. And so it's kind of that, that mixture of patient offense and put some balls in the back of the net. And right there, they do a nice job getting their second of the day. Alex Pfeiffer skips that one yeah. by Alexander. And Pfeiffer there from the outside. Right here, the nice roll. Now, look, Bryant's got a slide. Now you're in trouble. And and right there, just a nice job with the three-quarter relief. And both coaches alluded to it almost feels that that second game of your championship weekend. It's a little more of, hey, who's got, who's got some better skilled players who can make plays? Second game for both in three days. In front, Groninger buries it. Nice find. He got free, and it's 5-2. to two. Groninger, the leading scorer for Bryant, gets his second of the afternoon. And McMahon with a nice feed and a nice time cut from Groninger. This Bryant offense is pretty, it's fun to watch. And we've got the flag at the 9.59 mark in the second. <laughs> Albany with a chance on the man up. Let's go down there. 
Down three, Richmond using that big size. He's 6'4". Although here's a near giveaway, and it is offensive rhythm in the early points for Bryant. Yeah, I mean, they're a complete offense, right? I mean, so often you see teams that are one-dimensional on the offensive end. After the missed shot, Pacino. Matchup one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. And Bryant's not going to shy away from that. Like they have the players, the quickness, the skill to make you sweat. Oh, Parker Emmett puts in his first goal of the season. Pulled the old okie doke there, lost it, regathered it, found himself wide open right in front of the cage. A big break for Albany. And, and Parker Emmett gets the third goal for the Great Danes to get him closer to the powerhouse Brian Bulldogs. What an individual effort. Big time goal. Only had maybe three or four attack, but he had to move a couple of guys from midfield to attack. Boltz and Groninger playing a bit more of their natural positions anyway. Here's Groninger. Just a dodge right by his man and buries it past Heller. He's got three goals, a hat trick in the first half. Groninger proving to be too tough a matchup for the Danes right here. The nice, just individual effort taking it to the cage. Not afraid to put his body in harm's way. Takes it five hole there. There's third best faceoff man in the America East who's six of nine. Doorstep, Groninger scores again. Seven to three, and he's got three in a row for the Bulldogs. And the Great Danes need to huddle up. Strategy going to be, right now the early slides are proving it's contested, right? Look at the difference of when Bryant's on the offensive end and what they've been able to do versus where Albany's at right now. As they oh, get Richmond, <laughs> oh, hits the upper left 90 with a rifle. And their best offensive possession right there. They did a nice job working the exterior of the offensive side of the field. And then Richmond steps back post. Look at this, low to high, near mm. side. Near side, that is. The senior transfer. Finds Fuffer, he's got a goal in this first half. Pfeiffer lets it fly and scores from deep. A huge one for Albany just before half. Alex Pfeiffer. A thing of beauty, the nice split dodge. Set your feet. Picture perfect form. Look at that. The hip torque. The arm release. Because here's what happened just a few moments ago. Here's Pfeiffer with the latest goal. It's just ridiculous. Look at that accuracy <laughs> to the far oh, post. Man. Go back to back, right? But basically, it's that latest possession all the way down to the buzzer. But Pfeiffer scores it. And after the penalty, here we go. Huge opportunity with 20 seconds left. Richmond shovels it, doorstep, and a goal! Albany, picture perfect. Amos Whitcomb gets the fourth seeded Great Danes back within a goal. It's a 3 0 run. If you want to see great ball movement, take a look at this. The Great Danes doing a nice job passing around the perimeter. Once you get it inside and you get the defense rotating like that, you're going to get Whitcomb wide open on the doorstep. For here into the third. Decker gets free for a moment and converts. Thomas Decker.
Boy, he had an open look in that first half, missed it, would not be denied this time. We're tied at seven. Thomas Decker. Again, we said Bryant was gonna be slow to go. Right, that slide is late. And Decker goes. Four nothing scoring run for Albany. Who does Bryant turn to? Hackett, down to Groninger. The attackman swings around and scores. It's five for Groninger. And a nice, efficient man up offensive play there for Bryant. Just crisp passing. And right here, Groninger knows that Albany doesn't have the slide man on the back side. He actually recognizes it way early in the play and he's gonna have an opportunity to go back. Gains his footing. Decker fights through a pair of defenders, hits the side of the net, and then Alexander smothers it. Alexander feeds it, picked off. And Decker dropped it and then got drilled. Boy, this is still free. It's a bit of a scramble. Alexander now has it. Albany making it very... Albany trying to... Pack it in here. Here's Hackett. Turns, fires, finds a teammate. Groninger regathers it. Groninger takes several hits. <laughs> Groninger fights out of it, but the shot clock was expiring anyway. So Albany gets the stop. That's painful <laughs> to be running through triple teams. Makes a pretty good physical defense at first glance. Oh. Yeah, so that was... Now, who does it turn to down a goal? In front. Look who's open! Pfeiffer! Finds Peter Salit. And it's Salit's first goal of the afternoon to tie things back up at eight apiece. Albany finds a way to tie the game with Richmond on the sideline. And Pfeiffer... Another freshman, couple goals early on, now takes on the role of quarterback and finds Salit on the post. A lot of points put on the board in Albany, New York, the next number of years. And no doubt about it, here's a close range and a good look that time from Jack Lonsinger. Heller, channeling his performance from a couple of days ago, turns that one away. Can all... Richmond went to the sideline a few moments ago. He is back out there. There he is. Left side of your screen, number 15 in the purple. Look, Albany's found themselves in, in for the last... And they found a lead! Half, last quarter and two... Quarter, half, two quarters. They've been the better team. They get... Coach Mars fired up. Parker Emmett, two goals on two shots again. They're starting to make Bryant pay in the interior. Just the perfectly timed cut, the great pass. And down for the large part of that first half, have taken their first lead in the title game. Here's Hackett though, with a close range look. Buries it past Heller. The spectacular freshman. Doing what he's done all season, getting to the heart of the defense. And right here, you can see the over the head check, tucks his stick, unaf the contact, and buries it. Has been held largely in check, let's say, the last 15 minutes of gameplay. Bouncer collected on the doorstep. Turnaround shot, and a. A shove towards the net, Heller, cup possession. Palangian spins, finds Pfeiffer, and he's got another. Oh, 
Albany retakes the lead and got a hat trick. Potentially a trip there for Albany. Again, it looked like they got their feet tangled, but oftentimes when you have an advantage as a Dodger, which Groninger did, they throw the flag, but they maintain possession. And they get the critical tying goal here early in the fourth quarter. Jack Lonsinger with his second. And right here, it's Lonsinger showing goal line extended to attack. Groninger now. Albany making things difficult. Groninger jump shot. Bounces and scooped back up by Johnny Hackett. Five seconds on the timer. Hackett lets it fly. Albany turns away the Bulldogs again. Pucci lost it. Tanner Alexander comes away with it. What Alexander, he's been upended Syracuse in the first round of the NCAA tournament that year. He is back and has brought the offensive genius with him. Albany's got it though. Little more than four minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Albany's got to scramble for it. Scoot it back behind the net. Bryant takes over. Turned away. McMahon lets it go. Taken by Albany. Three minutes. Albany once down seven to three with five minutes to go in the second quarter. Has possession. With things tied up. And they take the lead again. It's Richmond. And a nice play here from the Great Danes. The dodge off the low wing. Richmond finding the space. And a nice composure on the finish. Singer, who got a point blank look. 24 seconds left. Bryant with one more chance. Down a goal. Title game. Chance at an NCAA tournament. That's a goal! Timmy Hackett! And Groninger. I mean, that backdoor feed to Hackett. Give me a break. Falling away. Able to get enough heat on that pass to skip it through the Great Dane. Periods until one of those teams scores. And of course, you have a quick intermission between overtime. So, wow, this has been a fun one, an exciting and exhilarating one at Virtue Field in Burlington this afternoon with Matt Ward, Kevin Fitzgerald with you. Bryant won the opening faceoff at time in five years. After the timeout, this is Groninger. McMahon back up top, Sidewinder. Heller sweeps it away low. He's done a nice job of scanning. Back up top, this is Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer in front. Skip pass, knocked down. Dangerous pass, and Bryant comes away with it. Drew Lucas, the super. Monsinger in front. Hackett had it ticked away. End of overtime number one. And that is the end of our first overtime. 
with the score still tied at 11 against Jake Pacino. Next goal wins. Bryant with possession. Ross could have called a timeout there for Bryant. Lucky for them. The Great Danes threw it out of bounds. Each team with the timeout, to your point. Colts bounces, game winner! Aiden Colts sends Bryant to the NCAA Tournament. America East champions. Aiden Golds have been quiet all game, but right now the hero for the Bryant Bulldogs securing their NCAA tournament berth. We mentioned Tommy Heller for the Great Danes of Albany. Had a tendency to go low. When we take a look at this play here, Goltz is going to bounce it straight into the turf and change planes. Watch here. Heller goes low. The bounce shot high. Welcome to the NCAA tournament, Bryant University.